We have further leaks on the upcoming 200 megapixel sensor from Samsung and some massive sales. Let's dive in. How's it going, guys? Max here. So, the highest resolution you can currently get on any smartphone now is 108 megapixels, but things are about to change. We have been hearing some rumors and leaks from trusted sources such as Ice Universe saying that Samsung will launch the 200 megapixel ISOCELL sensor this year. And now we have Samsung themselves telling us that they will. A few hours ago, Samsung's Exynos Twitter page gave us some information about the sensor. They said, in quotes, Dear Shutterbug, what do you expect most from a smartphone? And uh, on that day, they posted a short video which showcases a 200 megapixel sensor alongside five other cameras at the back and a dual selfie camera setup on the front of the phone. So they also went on to say that uh, this is not a teaser since even the current Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888 supports up to 200 megapixel photos. With that being said, what can a 200 megapixel sensor bring to the table or is it just another crappy gimmick that doesn't work so well? Well, firstly, a 200 megapixel sensor can comfortably support 8K videos at 30 frames per second, maybe with optical image stabilization, not sure. And though this is not actually confirmed in any way, I'm also hearing that it may support up to 16K videos, but I personally don't believe that since the 8K videos we already have is not yet as perfect as it should be. Other features include uh, a dual binning autofocus, uh, better low light images, and many more. Moreover, a 200 megapixel sensor would definitely bring more, a more noticeable difference in image quality. As some of us already know, the Galaxy S21 series went off to a good start, beating the sales of the S20 series by far. The S21 Ultra also has the record for the most pre-ordered phone in the UK and now we're receiving some marvelous news for Samsung in key markets like the US. The analytics showed that the Galaxy S21 Ultra is responsible for over 40% of this S21 units sold despite being the most expensive and most capable. And since there won't be a Galaxy Note series this year but it's coming back next year, most users will actually go for the S21 Ultra in the next few months since it has the S Pen functionality. And this also confirms that if a phone is good, it doesn't really matter what the price is that much. People will still buy it if it's excellently great. Okay, so that's all for this video. Tell me what you think about everything I've said in the video in the comment section. Subscribe for daily tech videos and i'll see you next time peace